Hey everybody, I've got two heavy metal songs with great bass guitar lines that you need to know right here and right now. So stick around and you will learn two great heavy metal songs that have been around and will be around. And the first one is the great For Whom the Bell Tolls from the late great Cliff Burton or Metallica, but he played a huge role in most of their songs back in the day. And he played a huge role in changing my path as a bassist and um just great stuff he's phenomenal and and it's a shame he's gone today but for whom the bell tolls a great song and i've got an iron maiden bass line and if you can guess that one comment down below while you're down there subscribe leave a comment if you think you know what it is or just take a guess and um i bet you don't guess it but we'll get there soon enough so Cliff Burton and Steve Harris, by far, are not easy bassists to follow. Um, you know, they're not not at all easy. They definitely work, and you know, they drive everything. So they're good to know. You need to push yourself. You know, you never got anywhere taking the easy way. So this is going to push you a little bit and challenge yourself. As you've seen the last two videos, and if you haven't, check those out. They're great bass lines as well. But they're not as, you know, difficult and as driving as these these two basses could do at just with ease. So like you say, you never got anywhere without pushing yourself. So definitely push yourself, challenge yourself to learn these songs and add them to your repertoire. And if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald with the bass instructor for the how to play bass online course at I wanna play bass.com. And we teach teach aspiring bassists every day how to reach their goals and and just just helping them you know just pushing them the perseverance and everything is what's there and we start from the fundamentals and we teach it all from the fundamentals daily lessons every day which makes sense daily lesson would be every day so yeah daily daily lessons you get a new video every single day on lessons to work on from the fundamentals on up so jump over there, sign up. When you want to get serious about playing bass, you got to get somebody in the corner. You don't want to go in and, and alone. You pick up a bunch of bad habits, and bad habits are hard to break. So, you know, when you're ready to get serious, go to IWantToPlayBass.com or get anybody in your corner. Go to any of these online bass courses and pick them up. But definitely do yourself a favor and get somebody in your corner to start from the fundamentals so you can level up constantly. So, enough being said, without further ado, we've got the For Whom the Bell Tolls. Now, I might have to stand up for this one, but it's pretty cool because when I first learned this song years ago, I was playing it all wrong. and Well, not all wrong, I was playing it right, but I didn't know that I was leaving out a part. And that part is the very beginning of it. And it's Cliff Burton, and he's taking this thing, and this that first part is... That, that's all Cliff Burton right there. That's I always thought it was a guitar and I never I never sat down and figured out just You know, but this it's definitely um it's all bass. So we're gonna you're gonna learn it right now. It's just E. Go on E. jumps out of that and he goes right into the low end and that he goes into that like four times and then the guitars join him in that as well but it's just E G F sharp F E G F sharp F E G F sharp F and then it walks up E 
Okay, so three times. One time. So it's four times all together, but the last time it's... So after the, the intro there, it just goes into another section, and it's just a guitar, guitar part. I think they're... He's doing that when Kirk Hammett's doing that. Cliff Burton's just going. But that's not not right there. He doesn't do that lick right there. It's just. And it does that for a while, and then it does. Then it goes into then it goes into the verse, which is. basically just just E it's almost like the little intro of that second part G and then he does a lick and it's just all all just a, just D to E and it goes G C G G G then it goes into the chorus It's just A, E, E to G, E to A, G, then E to G, E to A, E to G, E to B flat, F sharp, E. B flat, F sharp. So that's, that's the chorus there. from the verse does the chorus then it goes into a there's a bridge in there so it does that then it does a bridge in there then it goes into the verse again That's the outro. So it goes back to verse, chorus at the end, and then goes to an outro for a good while. And that's just E, F sharp to G. So that's that's it. It does that the entire song. And that just ends <coughs> on E. So not a lot into that particular song. Just a cool intro there. That's the bass line, giving you a little spotlight there with the high end register and that's just it's just a cool cool bass line and hope i didn't leave out any parts if i did leave me a comment let me know i'll appreciate the help but so so that's for whom the bell tolls by the metallica and the late great cliff burton the um the next one is the iron maiden bass line i want to show you and if you haven't guessed it we're going to be it's going to be build a little suspense what is it running free running
live for it. Old, old um, Iron Maiden song with, I can't remember the singer's name. I'm Paul Deano, I think is who it is. So definitely a different time for Iron Maiden, but still great. Steve Harris's bass lines are still great. And then the songwriting is just pretty good stuff. So basically that one just starts off starts off with some drums like a little drum intro I gotta get my cheat sheet again on this one so a little drum intro and then two bars or no I think it's four bars then the bass line comes in maybe eight bars the bass line comes in let me get up so we've got so we've got it just slides in Just, just slides right in from the G and that's E the main biggest thing with Steve Harris is his right hand plucking technique now he uses three fingers and some of this stuff but this one's he's not shredding it like that on this particular one he still moves fast in several parts but this particular intro isn't so it's gotta use this gotta kind of muffle it here as well Still got that gallop, galloping feel, but it's just E, E, so just E to G, back and then it's C to D. Just, he does that two does it one time and then the second time he does this little fill to let the guitarist know it's time to come on in so it's he just does when he does a C to D he does and that's where he's got a three finger pluck right there into the verse it does that two times i think the guitars are doing some harmonies over that and then it goes right into the verse and it changes it doesn't go to this c or g it goes so it goes from that little intro there and then it goes into the verse so yeah it goes into that let me check my cheat sheet here we've got the verse goes Verse is basically just it goes right into the verse after that, like two bars the intro, and that's just basically it just does it quicker instead of going here, it goes here, C, D, and then it goes G, A. Then it goes into the chorus I'm running free. is just E, I'm running free, yeah, G, he does it just for a second, G, E, D, E, D, E, C, D, whoops, So 
does that. That's the chorus there. And it does another verse. Another chorus. So it does verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And then it goes in back to the intro with the, the guitars are doing like a harmony, but it's just the bass line still doing it. Similar to the intro, it's that intro line, but instead of doing this, this going to the G every time, it goes, um, it either goes once or twice, and then the second, third time it goes. So it repeats that, and that's in the intro with the guitar harmonies, and then, then they have a little break, and it's the, it's this gets kind of quick because it's um, it's a break and it's just. Now that's where it gets real fast. It's very hard to do because it's straight. You know, you've got three fingers, so you're almost prone to do triplets here, but it's 16th notes to do. So you just have to take that one slow and be, be very accurate with it, and then the speed will come in time. So that's just... So it's just E, you're hanging on that E for a while, and then you're going G, F, G, F, D, G, so you really take that one slow, like I say, Accurate, be accurate, just take it slow, be accurate. And then the speed will come in time. Then it does that does that three times. Then on the fourth time, it does that to bring you out of that little break section. Then once you get out of that break section, you go, it goes right into a goes into a chorus and then after that he shouts out break in the song and it goes so he shouts it's going and it goes he shouts out break and going it goes into this little break just D and E. Then I think after the four times, it does it like eight times. After the fourth time, it goes. So it's just D to E, then the octave, and then C to D. He does that. He does this three times. So that little phrase is four times, but the, the fourth time is C to D. And the drums are... Then after the break there, it goes back into the verse. And then after the chorus it start it goes to an outro and it's where you're just where you're not doing it just changes the chorus. Basically, just E, G, A, C. And it does this quite.
quite a few times, maybe eight times, maybe twelve. And the very Atlanta just does he's So that's just so it's just basically that ending. Iron Maiden running free if you didn't guess it try again next time but for now that's for whom the bell tolls and Iron Maiden running free hopefully you got something out of that again I know your time is as valuable as everybody else's and just hope to that I can produce valuable content for y'all out there and like I say subscribe to my channel if you thought this was valuable there's lots more out there now and lots more to come. And subscribe to IWantToPlayBass.com. I've got a free ebook there as well, How to Set Your Bass Up for Success. Breaking it down, everything, just adjustments that need to be made and everything you need to know to make your bass custom to you to make so it feels best for you. And so that'll do it. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all. Bye.